Hi everybody, it's Andrew Bebb with Midwest Fishing Club and today I'm just fishing. So let's get at it, man. I mean, let's do to it. See if we can, oh good God, got something right off the bat. Got an inline spinner. I have no idea what we got here. We got a little, uh, little bass. Little bass, not too bad. Right off the bat, there we go. Whoa, come here you. Let's get you back. Let's get you photographed and uh, fishing an online tournament right now, so I gotta get some measurements and weights. He's not very big, I think, but I think he'll get in the, uh, I think he's big enough for the minimum. He was uh, 10 inches, which is just barely big enough for this tournament. So we've got us a starter here. Nothing like getting going right on the first cast, man. That's always fun. A lot of people forget about these inline spinners. This is a rooster tail. It's a it's a half ounce. It's uh, one of the larger larger ones there, and uh, so far so good. <laughs> Got one right off the shoreline. Go figure. <laughs> He's just an itty bitty baby. He's just a baby. Little little fish, little fish, little fish. Fish on. Little fish, but fish on. I may have snagged him. Either that or he's just that tiny. Oh no, he's just that tiny. <laughs> well, the little ones are hungry today, that's for sure. That guy's not even gonna make the, make the scale here. Oh, terrible. Man, he came up and nabbed that sucker though. Let's get him back in there real quick. Little dink. Dink, 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 dink. Let's take this one bait and go for a walk. Having a pretty good morning, you know. Caught one on my first, oh, caught one on my first cast. That was always nice. Um, inline spinner seems to be working. I haven't caught anything big. 10 inches is big fish so far, which is not very big. Um, couple seven and eight inches uh, little dinks but uh, you know I told you this morning I was just out fishing just wanting to have some fun and um, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna just try and catch a few fish try some different stuff I'm gonna probably bring the kids out later on this evening or later on today and have some fun I just decided to get up early before chores because you know I can't come down here to the farm without doing chores that's that's a that's a no-brainer and uh, so we'll just see what we can come up with here oh. maybe I'll catch a few more fish before I have to go in oh well maybe I'm not staying with this inline spinner seeing as I just put it in a tree really all right see what we got here. 
moose spot. Leave all your tackle over there because you're going to use one bait and your second cast gets away from you and you flip it up into a tree. Let's try something else. Well, as you can see, I, uh, I made it all the way around with one bait. Second cast, I hung it up in a tree and I bent the, uh, in bent the straight pin, it's the uh, part of the inline. So now we're gonna march our butts all the way back because it's not swimming true. I'll have to rework that and rebuild it later. Ah, started out good, nothing big, but started out fun. Oh, trying to catch myself on some grass. Let's just see if we can't uh, move along and catch us a, a bass. What do you think I should try? That's always the, always my, you know, trying to figure out. That's, I mean, that's what it's all about, trying to figure out, you know, what to use next. Uh, what to present stuff like that let's figure it out all right we got a caught us a couple fish nothing big a bunch of short ones but uh you know a few dinks and uh i think i got one with what 11 and a half 11 three quarters that wasn't too bad i mean i live with that uh caught some top water caught some uh, definitely uh with the inline spinner so i had a, you know it was a good morning uh, i didn't get to fish as much long as i want to because i got some stuff i got to get done too but uh, we'll get back with you later on in the day and uh, maybe we'll get some more fishing done until next time keep your hooks wet and your stringers full this is andrew bebb with midwest fishing club have a great day